you allow it. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which also you are called in one body. And then he said, and be ye I can't hear you. Thank you. Be thankful. Cause in the last day, prayerless times shall come. Men shall be uh, that loves his own sins. Huh? Unholy. Unthankful. We must be thankful, Lord. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all with me? And be thankful. Read on. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, mm -hmm. teaching and admonishing one another. In Psalm, look what they say. Look at, look at the exhortation to the church. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all eating this? Read. And whatsoever ye do, in word or deed. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Do how? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's why we baptize in Jesus' name. Oh, yes, right. All you Trinitarian baptizing, you disobeying the Bible. Right. He said everything you do in the church, do it in the name uh -huh. of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Pray in Jesus' name. Huh? Sing in his name. Preach in his name. Baptize in the name of Jesus for the remission of sin. Read. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. That's another subject. We're going to get on that yet. Thank you, Jesus. First Peter 5 and 5. We'll close out. That's for marriage session. We'll do one of them on TV, too. Marriage is, is until death do your part, though. Just why they get that. Not till divorce do your part. <laughs> till death, not divorce. God not into divorce. Man is. Say, I do, you're bound till you die. That's why I know adultery, the Bible tell you. No nanny playing with the word adultery now. All these priests got two or three wives. They start playing with a Dutch. Well, she cheated on me. It's tough. That ain't, that's, that's not fornicating. He didn't tell you that. He didn't say that. See? Uh -uh. He said, no Dutch is going to help. He said, he did divorce her and put her away. And another one married her, he committed a Dutch. And she do too. That's the book. And he said, no Dutch is going to help. One of the biggest teach preachers on TV in, TCT. Word Network, one of the biggest preachers on there. Big time. Got two living wives. And he always preaches against sin. He don't touch that one though. If he touches, he messed, messed the Bible up. Because he ain't going to hell too. He can preach all the one. 20,000 people in his church. He's going right on to hell. I can say this on air. Because the Bible said ain't no Dutch going in. If you got a wife living, you divorce her and marry another woman, you're another Dutch. Make God change his mind. You can gather 50,000 people here. You make him, you make him change his mind. Somebody said, how do you know that? I looked him up on the internet. <laughs> I looked him up on the internet. He even got rid of one white and got another. Thank you, Jesus. God ain't playing. First Peter 5 and 5 read. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. No, no, don't, no. No, young people no more no for no, submit yourself. No, hey, don't, don't humble yourself on the old folks. Submit yourself. See? Younger, submit. That means humility. To the elders, read. Yea, all of you be subject one to another. Everybody can tell you something. Read. And be clothed with humility. Be clothed with what? Humility. Put on. Look, he wants you clothed with humility. That means you full of it. Consumed with humility. For God do what? Resisteth the proud. And do what? And give grace to the humble. See what he say? God resists the proud. 
Verse 5, I'll read this with love. To be clothed with humility. Humility must be the mark of all God's people. It means an absence of pride in oneself, a consciousness of one weakness, and a disposition to ascribe to God and others the credit for what one has achieved or has accomplished. Thank you, Jesus. Now, to be identified as believers in Christ, we act humbly toward others and to receive God's grace and help. Peter may have had in mind Jesus' actions of trying on the towel and washing the disciples' feet. He was given an example of humility. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for the word tonight. Thank God for you viewing. I say to those viewing us on YouTube, this is the altar call. The Bible said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Come on, give God a praise. Amen.